What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 247 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it all out, gear, hardware, all that stuff. We'll kick it off now, 247. First today, we have RJ Snaps, and I actually found him on Instagram, hit him up, I was like, yo, I need to show this off because it is really nice, and here we are. It's dark, it's got that moodiness to it, you know, the wooden accents, the plants, it checks off all the boxes. So RJ's rocking two monitors here, the primary being a 34-inch Samsung ultra-wide. Then off to the right side in the vertical orientation is an LG 24-inch, and it is a 144Hz display. And complementing his wooden desk, he has his monitors propped up on a monitor stand from Grovemade. Checking out some of the peripherals, his keyboard is a Keychron K2 with the Logitech MX Master Mouse. He's also using a Delta Hub Carpio wrist rest, which we showed off on Cooltech Under 50 a while back. So always good to see them in the wild. Things like the wool desk mat and his leather and wooden wrist rest is also from Grovemade. Uh, the Delta Hub one is the wrist rest for the mouse. And in the background, you can kind of see the speakers. There's the Logitech Z623. Now, checking out the PC, I'm not 100% sure if it's like a pre-made or not, because I'm not too familiar with Lenovo. This is the Lenovo Legion case, so again, it very well may be a dedicated case. Could be a pre-built, I don't know. Uh, but he said it's not really used for gaming and stuff, primarily for photo editing and photography and stuff like that. So inside is an Intel i7-10700 CPU with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo Cooler. It's the Blackout Edition, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, and an NVIDIA GTX 1660. Super for the GPU. But in terms of just visuals and stuff, it's definitely a nice looking build. But also, gotta say, you gotta take note to the fact that he has it over on the left side of his desk and it's over on its own shelf. So the fact that it's separated but still on display and the cable management to route it to the desk, very, very good job pulled off nicely. But again, it's a nice and moody setup altogether. Love setups like this. The nice shelves, the stuff on display, really good stuff, RJ. And I'll drop his Insta down below if you wanna check it out. Now we've got Thomas. Whenever I see the name Thomas, I think back to this one time. I was out at some restaurant. I don't know. We were waiting, you know, in the lobby when there was a line. And there was this lady yelling at her kid, and she kept going, Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. And now whenever I see the name Thomas, it gets stuck in my head. And that was easily 10 years ago, so this could be you. If so, look at you now. But let's also look at the four monitors in all that screen, real estate, hot damn, lots of pixels. His primary is a 49-inch Samsung G9 Odyssey. So 49 inches, 240 hertz here. The top overhead is a Samsung 43-inch 4K TV. And both of these side monitors are a 27-inch Acer display. Now there's a lot of gear and peripherals going along with this setup, so just some things real quick, the Elgato Stream Deck, you can see the Logitech G560 LightSync speakers. Uh, for the main peripherals, I've uh, got the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard, the Razer Basilisk Ultimate Wireless Mouse is charging, Asus Extended Mouse Pad, and also for audio, we got a nice shit stack here with the Magni and Mahdi powering his headphones, the Bear Dynamic 1990 Pro. And yes, for all the 10-year-olds out there, the company's name is actually shit, S-C-H-I-I-T. Now, you may have been eyeing it, but we gotta check out this PC. This is the limited edition in-wind D-frame case, and it just looks crazy. I know it's everyone's cup of tea, but I don't know. It, it's, it's doing something. It's getting the juices flowing. So inside, there's an Intel i9-9900K CPU on the Asus Maximus Hero 11 motherboard. Got 64 gigs of G-Scale Trident Z RGB RAM and an MSI RTX 2080 Ti Trio. But the great hardline job, the color matching coolant to the frame itself, this is just a thing of beauty. And as they always say, credit where credit's due, because with all those screens, everything going on, it's just the gear and hardware, very good job of cable management, got the IKEA Signum there, to keep them up off the ground nice and tidy. So while the monitors and all the screen real estate is absolutely crazy, I'm still blown away by that custom PC. And I know I'm not allowed to give advice on this series without another fan base shitting their pants and crying. However, my bit of advice would be just to take those foam panels down behind the two monitors because that like off color blue and stuff, it's just not doing much visually and literally in the sense that it's not gonna be absorbing anything up there. Yeah, I would just take those down. Next, we got Tristan. Big racing fan, you can't tell already. Check it out, the steering wheel, the pedals, the, the print off to the left side, but more importantly, a really nice triple monitor setup here that lines up perfectly and is pretty much made to be like a racing sim. Racing rig, racing sim, I don't know, same thing, right? 
But speaking of the same thing, all three of those monitors are the same AOC 24 and a half inch model. So they just line up perfectly. That's the benefit of buying multiple of the same one. And they're all kept up nicely on one monitor arm. So you can't really see it because it's hidden behind the center of the racing wheel there in the middle. But yeah, that's a good job of keeping them all propped up. And he has a ton, a ton of gear to power this racing rig. Stuff from Thrustmaster, we're talking pedals, shifters, different wheels, all a bunch of different accessories. I'll tell you right now, I don't know a thing about it. I wish I did. I want one of those crazy like five axis rigs where it's like puts you in the car, but it's in your living room kind of thing. I want it, but I don't need it. You know what I'm talking about. So for his actual peripherals on the desktop, we have an Everglide SK87 keyboard. And they actually custom lubed his Cherry MX clear switches and he also filmed them as well. And the mouse is the Razer Mambo Tournament Edition. Now you saw before with the wide shot, he had those crazy speakers on each side of his desktop. They're the Bowers and Wilkins 68.5 S1 bookshelf speakers apparently. And this pair of headphones here is the Hi-Fi Man Sundara. Very nice. Now, taking a look at this dark looking PC, gotta, gotta squint to see it. Inside the Intel i7 6700K CPU, cooled by the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 cooler. Got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on an Asus Z170 Pro gaming motherboard, and a Gainword GTX 1070 inside a Be Quiet Pure Base 500 case. You can see it nicely tucked there in the bottom right shelf of the desk, but I've never heard of Gainword as a graphics card company. I've been doing this show a while. There's always new companies popping up. But definitely a nice and clean setup here from Tristan. Uh, very organized. And again, going all out with the racing theme. You gotta love when a setup dedicates itself entirely to a theme like that. Just makes it more cohesive and stuff in the end. Maybe look for a theme desktop wallpaper to span across all three as well. Now we've got Andres, and I'm loving the warm tones here. A nice and cozy setup, giving you the warm vibes. And you can see underneath the wooden desktop in between the Alex drawers, it's actually the frame for the legs. This is the Smart Desk 2, and it's a sit-stand desk. So he has it all laid out where he can elevate it, use it as a standing desk, and then bring it back down, sit, get some gaming done, productivity, all that stuff, both the options, and nothing's getting crushed in the process. Trust the process. So for his display, going the solo route with a Dell U3417W, so a really nice ultra-sharp 34-inch ultra-wide. It's always funny, because I feel like when I was growing up, Dell was kind of like looked down upon, because they were just like more of like a cheaper brand, but now they really redeemed themselves, and they make some killer monitors nowadays. Checking out some of the gear, we have some Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers in the black. Looks really nice here. And you can see hanging up on the microphone arm, Logitech G733 headset. And for his main peripherals, we have a custom keyboard here from SM Keyboards. Unfortunately, no info provided on what switches he's using, but that's okay. He's also using that with a Keychron wooden wrist rest. And then his mouse is the Razer Viper Ultimate with, yet again, the Delta Hub Carpio wrist rest. Now, this PC is damn nice. This is the story of a girl. It's the Antec P120 crystal case. I just literally almost fell out of my chair, so my audio levels were wonky, that's why. And I'm not gonna redo that take, but inside is an Intel 10980XE CPU with an NZXT Z73 AIO. Got 64 gigs of XPG RAM on an ASUS ROG Strix X299E Gaming 2 motherboard, an EVGA RTX, 3080 FTW3. My life is just reading letters and numbers. Like, does anybody even understand what I just said? It doesn't matter. Because this is a really nice looking build. Really clean as well. And again, even the internals of the PC are matching the rest of the setup. Still nice and warm. So Andres, I had to read this take like five times because I accidentally called you Anders. It's Andres. Really, really loving this. Really good job, man. And then lastly, we got Victor G. Party people know the name, Vic with a G, if it's all the same to me. I feel like I made that joke on here before. Ah, don't worry about it. He's hitting us with the ultra-wide lens here for the two-monitor setup. And I do like how the setup's like nicely tucked away in the little corner of the room. As you can see, you kick back a little bit, and it's a nice and little, you know, like a cozy sort of gaming nook. So checking out his monitors, his main display is a 27-inch Acer Predator. It's 1440p, 144Hz, G-Sync, all that good stuff. And the secondary monitor is a 27-inch BenQ. For his peripherals, we have the SteelSeries Apex Pro with the glorious Model O mouse. And also not really pictured here, but for his audio, got the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Gunmetal SE headset on the Corsair ST1000 RGB headset stand. Then over to the PC is the Fantex Eclipse P500A RGB case in white, and inside is an Intel i7 8700K CPU. Lots of Intel this episode, it's usually the complete opposite. 
with the ASUS RNG Ryu 240mm AIO. It's got 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z Neo series RAM. Is it the Neo RAM specifically for AMD Ryzen? Does it matter? Is there not a compatibility issue? I don't know, but he's got it. That's on the ASUS RNG Strix Z390F gaming motherboard and an ASUS Strix he wrote 1090. He wrote 1090 Ti. I assume he means 1080 Ti? Is he trying to like pull a quick one on me like I wouldn't notice? It doesn't exist. There's no 1090 Ti. So Victor with the AMD RAM and an Intel CPU and a made up graphics card. But either way, it's a nice looking cat. <laughs> All right. It's like 2 a.m. I'm going to bed. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 247 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. And don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw, plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered in a future episode of Room Tour Project. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed episode 247. Have a good day.